Friday 2024. Dash 04 for April, dash 07 Sunday. Tomorrow's a solar, total solar eclipse um, here. Um, basically going on through Mexico, the United States, and so, sort of Canada, Nova Scotia, I think, area. I'm going to try to drive to a place in the path of totality tomorrow. And today I want to see whether Microsoft Flight Simulator um, simulates an eclipse. Uh, you know, it should uh, simu it simulate stars and position of the sun and the moon and the sky. So I wouldn't be surprised if it actually, if you can actually see the solar eclipse in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If we uh, took a look at the map to see where the uh, path of totality is, and which is roughly like uh, this, I think, more or less, and uh, pick a spot in that path of totality, which means like uh, you'll be 100%, the moon will pretty much 100% cover the sun for two or three minutes, and uh, plonk our airplane down there, set the time for tomorrow, which is April 8th, uh, I think around 310, 3.11 uh, here south of Michigan. Uh, we're going to go to Ohio somewhere. And one place I had been looking at was a place called Napoleon, Ohio. There's like some uh, plane flying over there. And this little airfield called uh, Henry Seven Whiskey Fiver. Hello, Sokolas. Welcome. Uh, haven't played this video game for a very long time. Uh, let's jump in our JPL Logistics Cessna 152. I don't even remember if, uh, if I have a, a command set up for that. Let's take a look if I do uh i guess not uh do i have a uptime commands that work yeah that's still working um but uh, this is a mod a free mod from microsoft flight simulator that basically makes your set default tesla 152 much nicer let's put ourselves here on the parking ramp let's uh let's set the flight conditions to tomorrow April 8th, and let's put it around, right before the eclipse starts, let's put it around, uh, the, the total eclipse in uh, Napoleon, Ohio will be about 311, 310, I think it's gonna start, so let's put ourselves there about uh, 305 or something, 306, yeah. And uh, let's see what happens, okay. Custom, live traffic, all players. We're currently in the Eastern USA server in case you want to join in in this uh, test flight here. I'm supposed to be starting on the ramp. Uh, let's go. See if I remember how to fly this thing. I mean, right now we don't really necessarily want to fly it. We just want to go outside. Uh, track IR is working. Uh, it's a little bit odd. It's a little bit off, perhaps. Okay. Let's see. All right, there you go. That's a little better. All right, we'll just lock track how you are, and then let's uh, go outside the airplane. Ooh, the muscle memory's still there. That's good. Let's take a look around. There's the sun. All right. Oh, and there you go. Yeah, the moon is already... Is already... Uh, covering part of it so microsoft flight simulator does seem to simulate the eclipse that's cool uh let's uh, try to get an angle here by our airplane oh there's the speed of the drone camera it's over here i think i'm also gonna have to change the wind sound a little bit Lower drone speed. Let's go down to around 10, 9. Let's go to general options, um, sound, master. 
30 down a little bit. We'll do this 78. Let's see what happens after we turn on the engine and stuff. But for now, we're just interested in, in taking a look at the e solar eclipse. Let's try to get away from this uh, vehicle, whatever it is. up again R R okay let's see let's stand by uh, this house here away from the airfield that has that sound is there a place for the time does it show up in a VFR map I don't remember if there's a place that you can see the time but there it is it's coming um, the moon is coming across the sun. I don't know. So I'm not sure how accurate this is going to be. And I'm wonder if they actually simulate like seeing the corona of the sun around the moon once it is a uh, the totality happens when it's completely covered the the moon completely covers the sun. Now I've seen I've been in partial eclipses like one I think in New York City in 2017 I think. But I've never seen a full one. So tomorrow, I live near Grand Rapids in Michigan. Tomorrow, I am planning to drive down, join a lot of people, apparently, driving from all parts of the country. We're going to be prepared to spend some time in traffic, if, although we're going to try to take only back roads, no expressways. You know, uh, generally that takes longer, but maybe tomorrow will be much faster because everyone's taking the expressway. That's going to be a lot of traffic. And uh, we're going to drive down to Ohio somewhere. We haven't picked where yet. This is part of the reason for this stream. Uh, so the research using Microsoft Flight Simulator, where we will go. And uh, and we're just going to maybe, I don't think I'll be able to, but maybe I'll be able to stream uh, this Eclipse live tomorrow. I think there'll be 2 million other people, or more than that probably. You know, 100 million, 100 million other people doing that tomorrow depending on uh, if you believe what the news say. Uh, looking at this moon here in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think one thing you can see is that uh, I don't think it's moving completely live. Or maybe it's a little off because, uh, or one of the websites I'm looking at is off because the totality, this is supposed to be in the path of totality, but I'm not sure what time it is in the sim. Let's see if it tells me in the airplane. Oh, uh, is there a clock here? Is there a clock in the Cessna? I don't remember. Maybe on the side here. I don't think there's a clock in this. I mean, it's not on because the, the battery's off anyway. But it would be around here, but I don't see it. So maybe there's no clock in the Cessna. Let's get a different plane with a... Uh, digital thing on it and check that out I don't remember what the time uh, here live weather here you go 310 Interesting, it's like almost like the moon's position is not live, maybe it's only calculated, uh, maybe based on a few hours. Let's uh, zoom back a little bit and see. Okay, so this airfield here, Microsoft Flight Simulator is saying that. It's a partial eclipse. Okay. Let's try a different airfield. Let's go back to the main menu. 
I'm gonna look. Uh, I'm looking at this right now. There's so many websites with it. But one of the ones I'm looking at is. Try to put a link to it on the stream right now. This one here. All right, let's choose a, a place that's more on the line, directly under the line. How about Wapakoneta? I think just the Neil Armstrong Museum there. Let's try Wapakoneta south of Lima. Let's try that. There's Lima. There's Wapakoneta. Zoom in. Um, I think that's the Neil Armstrong Museum over there. It's funny, there's not an airstrip there. That looks like an airstrip, but uh, that's not a President Microsoft Flight Simulator. Near airstrip to here, we have Armstrong, Kilo Alpha, X-Ray, Victor. Let's try here. Let's put ourselves in ramp 11. And uh, let's put five conditions for tomorrow. Three uh, around the time of the eclipse, so 310 or something. 307. So we start from there. And instead of this Cessna, let's put ourselves in, um, I don't know, maybe a, a VL3. And let's start. Uh, Okay, we'll just put ourselves in the run of the engine running. All right. Let's see how that looks. Kilo Alpha X-Ray Victor Traffic JMB Aviation November Hotel Tango X-Ray Tango taking off runway 8 straight out departure. Okay, partly cloudy here. And that's another consideration for tomorrow. If it's cloudy, do we still go? If the if the forecast is totally overcast, do we still go? I think yes, because we the eclipse is not just about seeing the actual eclipse is to see the people that go see the eclipse. People watch, you know, take photos. It's sort of a, an experience that I feel brings everyone together, you know, it kind of makes you feel like the moon is covering the sun and uh, makes you feel, think about astronomy and think about, uh, hopefully, think about how small we are in the great scheme of things in the universe. And it's something that goes back, eclipses, especially total solar eclipses are something that go back uh, a long way in human history. Uh, it's something that, you know, people have experienced and wondered about since time immemorial, if you will. You can find references to it uh, in all cultures and um, science and the development of science from, uh, you know, the Renaissance and before that until now, uh, eclipses are a big uh, kind of track that development because uh, the ability to predict one is what drove a lot of mathematicians and astronomers to uh, to do the work they did and so I think it's something that just hey Bruce how are you it's something that just brings uh, people together and I like that um, Sokla says when I was in school it was a solar eclipse in the area and we used floppy disk to look at it, are you, is, is floppy disk an, an acceptable way to look at it? Because, yeah, everyone is scared about, you know, you can get your eyes burned because apparently with a solar eclipse, the natural reaction of your eyes, of you to squint, uh, since the moon is covering off, the sun is not there, and so you might look directly at the sun and it can burn your retina in the shape of an eclipse. And that happened to, that has happened to people. Uh, and it can happen if you have a defective glass, but is, is a floppy a safe? That's not, that sounds like a good idea. I don't think I have a freaking floppy here. I wish I had a bunch of floppies. Maybe I'll just go to a find a computer store and buy some floppies. <laughs> I'm doing all right, man. Too much work, but the 15th, the, the 18th is the last day of this conference that I'm working to 
doing work for, and after that, hopefully, stream schedule that we have back some sort of schedule. You know, so I couldn't see you in uh, Port Venice, uh, Lake Venice. I forget the name of the Port Geneva. I forget the name of the place. But I hope you had a good trip there. And we'll we'll, we'll catch we'll we'll run into each other at some point, Bruce. It'll probably be when I come to England next time, unless you come uh, to the states again, and I'm not freaking buried in work. You, know? you need two or three layers of floppy disks. Okay. So your eyes are still okay, Sokolas, even though you looked at the solar eclipse of the, the floppies. Copy that, Bruce. Dude, and I'm, I, I haven't set up my controllers, like these things, for so long, so it kind of feels nice to be seeing like a freaking spinning propeller in front of me and, uh, and, uh, and to be playing a flight sim again. I'm almost done with Watch Dogs Legion when I'm done with that game, but I'll come back to flight sims a little bit as well. Controllers work. It's so amazing to me when everything still works after you don't use it for a while and with Windows, you know. Um, I need some blue tack too. It's for some reason, I unscrewed. Hopefully my sound levels are okay. I think they're okay, right? The engine might be sounding a little loud, but I'll fix that in a little bit once it starts going. Using some Bostic blue tack. Some Bostic blue tack for... Uh, With this thing because I unscrewed like uh, I unscrewed this because it was wide and it was taking too much space and it's a metal thing it's not easy for me to cut so I just unscrew the whole thing I'm gonna put blue tack here and here right now so that it doesn't move all over the, the table uh, when I'm pushing the throttle forward and stuff like that Yeah, I heard it was like some, I don't know, there's some drama in the DCS world. There's some third party like having a fight, an argument or something. I don't know. I just look at the Reddit once in a while. I haven't touched DCS for a long time either. Um, I still have my box of buttons, Bruce. The, the what is it? Stream deck. There's an R there. It's not the Steam deck. It's the stream deck is still working. That's why I can do like, ooh, ooh, pressing a button. All right, let's look at this freaking thing. Where's the clock? Is there a clock? This I don't know if Microsoft Flight Simulator simulates this. I mean, it simulates the moon in front of it, but I don't know if it actually simulates the actual eclipse. Where's the time on this? Is there a time? Is there a clock on this bloody thing? Trying to look at it, if there's anything moving back here, like the, the, looks like a clock potentially. It sounds like it'll be a pretty. Oh, there you go, 15:13. We're past it already, I think. Or maybe we're right in it. Let's go outside. Oh, and it's partly cloudy too. See, it's there, but it's not, there's something off about it, because according to the map I'm looking at, this would be the time of the total solar eclipse. If I go back a little bit, let's see. April 8th. It's looking like Microsoft Flight Simulator is a little off. A oh, there you go, it's, it's actually spinning around. Maybe, maybe this, it's... I wonder if it actually simulates the whole, like, seeing the sun's corona and stuff, you know. Alright, let's move this thing over here. Oh! Uh, this plane can probably fly above the clouds. It'll probably take a little while. Let's try it. Let's take off and, and take a look. Okay. Flown this plane in ages, so what was. Wait, what was. Uh, I don't remember what my uh, brakes button was. Not that. Uh, brakes. Brakes. Is it this one? It's been a while since I played this, I forgot all my mappings. Well, I hope they're not all of them, but some of them. Uh, brakes, uh... Oh, hell, let's, uh... Oh, 
jumps up. We'll fly above the clouds and mess around with the with the time. Flying out of Armstrong in Ohio. Kilo something or other. Kilo Alpha X-ray Victor. a little bit down the sim there I think that's a little better okay and now let's just, uh, is there an autopilot I can set here? Yeah, I totally forgot how to, I mean, I haven't used this for a while. Hey, if you cheer, wrong game, kill those albium scum. We're gonna finish that hopefully tonight. Last mission. All right, let's stop. Eight. Wait, was it P? Shift P. Or the active pause. I forgot how that is. Landing uh, simulator is not activated right now. Should I turn it on? Let's turn it on. See if it still works. I'm probably gonna have to do an update. Different game feature. Uh, continue of local account. Dashboard. Connect to a sim. Connect to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, did it work? Passive logger enable. All right, well, let's try it. Future, I put a guess. Uh, I guess it's working. Landing guesstimator bot has joined. I clicked on connect to sim. All right, let's try it. All right, uh, engine off simulation as our first landing today. Okay, ready? That. Cut the fuel. Oops, no more fuel to the engine. Uh, what was it called? Kilo Alpha X ray Victor traffic JMB Aviation November Hotel Tango X ray Tango. Four miles south, 5,800 feet inbound to land runway 8. Uh, Kilo Victor Alpha X-Ray, this is a uh, Hypertex Hero. have an emergency. We, cut, we switch the fuel off and we don't know how to switch it back on again. So we're coming in for a landing. We're not sure we're going to make it to the airport. So we may land on a field near, or road nearby. Over. Mayday, Mayday, Hypertex Hero. No engine coming in for landing. Over. Can we make it? I think we can make it. This plane is quite a... It's quite a svelte little... Aero, aero flyer.
maybe we have a tailwind too. I think there was a way to, to see the tailwind on this thing here. Uh, wind factor. There it is. Wait, is that the, the wind vector? Is that our vector? But look, we're right above the airfield. It's going to be the first landing in a long time, and then we're going to take mess around with the eclipse as well. again. We're trying to see if Microsoft Flight Simulator simulates the solar eclipse with, like, effects and stuff to see the, the sun's coronas. I did see the moon in front of the sun. I'm in a position and time where it should be more or less the total eclipse. Uh, it didn't happen so maybe we're doing something wrong maybe look at the wrong information i don't know but um we'll find out all right coming in for landing i'm gonna put the landing gear down as soon as i'm uh, closer because we have no power here engines off keeping the flaps up okay looking pretty good now looking pretty good okay throwing the gear down Bring flaps down too. Let's see if the landing the landing thing still works. I think we're coming in with a tailwind. Oh, and Futuro with the win! Still works. That wasn't bad. Minus 44 feet per minute for a first landing. No power. Emergency landing simulation. Okay, the sun, uh, the, the clouds are out of the way. Opa! Oh, and I actually remembered the button for the parking brake. Good. Excellent, Futura. Uh, let's go outside. Let's look at the sun. Zoom in. Let's bring up the time thing. A little bit to the other side. Let's bring up the time thing. Uh, a little cloud. Let's go back to. Wait, I think it's three. It's three eleven. Maybe we're looking at the totally wrong one. It's three to April eighth. This is the date of tomorrow. We're at three o four right now. There it is, there's the sun. 305, 311, 312. Nothing. Let's look it up. Oh, my pleasure, dude. Let's look it up. Uh, what is the place? What What is the name of this place? Um... Armstrong Airfield, Ohio. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing here. Um, let's see. Window capture. And we're going to put uh, Firefox, all right. Bring it down here. Neo Armstrong Airport. I think this is the one. KX, KAXV. Okay, let's take a look at where that is. Uh, maps. Here you go, New Armstrong Airport. It's right by. Wait. AXB. See if it looks like it does in the sim. Um. 
Yeah, that looks like it. All right. So what do we have nearby here? We have New Knoxville, okay. So let me go to Hypertext here because I put some links about this. Filter Solar Eclipse. Where and when. This is a NASA website. You have the map. Okay, you can zoom in. It's this here. There's Indianapolis. We're going to drive tomorrow from around here, north of Grand Rapids. We're going to drive south somewhere in Ohio. We have friends. I was going to go to Toronto to see my friend Justin, but uh, Amber was not feeling so good, a bit of a cold. And we thought, you know, crossing the border, there may be loads of people with that idea. And uh, we just thought maybe it's better if we do that trip another time so we can spend some time in Toronto. And trying to find a parking space in Toronto would be a, a, a freaking insane. So we decided instead we're going to go down southeast. We have some friends who live in Ann Arbor, too. They might meet us somewhere in northwestern Ohio. We're going to go south, southeast here. Somewhere around here. Maybe Napoleon. Maybe Defiance. <laughs> the names of these places. Something like that. Right now we're looking, though we want to be close we're looking i think south of lima okay um armstrong new knoxville okay so if i zoom out here wapa wapa Coneta, and there's a lake here okay by saint mary's by uh selena i think selena is directly under the path uh, the total eclipse path i think so let's look at selena maybe we'll put ourselves in that lake there let's maybe just plonk ourselves down on that lake but there you go selena pretty close to the center line okay of the eclipse we can go a little bit further south even but let's we're we're right by the wapakoneta here um that's the nasa map so let's see if we can actually click and uh see a closer uh and there's another map i saw too it was uh, this one. This is a very interesting article by a super geek called Stephen Wolfram that you may be interested in reading. And uh, there's a website called precisioneclipse.com that you can go and put in your location. So let's put our location uh, of the airfield where, where we're at. We're at Armstrong Airfield, Ohio. Okay. Uh, let's get the address here. I'll copy that. Then let's go back to the precision eclipse and let's put that there. Let's see what time they give us. Don't understand the location. Uh, put just New Knoxville, Ohio, maybe. There's probably a lot of people doing this at the same time, so that website may be a little slow. All right. Lasts for four minutes, okay? Begins at 3.09 and 15 seconds. Total eclipse begins, okay? This thing here. And if you want to see what a total eclipse looks like, I've never seen one in, in, in person, so I'm excited about tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will, will be okay, you know? But if you want to see the simulation, you can go to this. Uh, it's a little tricky to use this site, but I, it's hard to find where to put your address, and it's, it's going pretty pretty slowly. But here you can see... You can go to this website, put your location, then you drag the time here, and you see like the moon starts coming over it. Okay, starts coming over it, starts coming over, it, starts coming over, it, then it starts darkening, and then when it gets to the total to totality, then there's this crazy thing that is like the mountains of the moon. You know, like the sun's like shining through some of those mountains. You can see on the top right here the the, the shadow of the moon on the Earth over there. Okay, and then all of a sudden, boom, the moon like completely like obscures the sun and then you see the sun's corona like the masses of gases and light and electromagnetic stuff shooting out of it and it stays like that for four minutes apparently in this place okay and then and then boom then it comes back and so it's a pretty crazy thing i mean no wonder that you know people like hundreds and hundreds of years ago who didn't understand what we do today thought what the heck you know the gods uh, it's the end of the world the gods are angry etc you know maybe they were right who knows um 
So I want to see if you can see this in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And according to Stephen Wolfram's website, you know, the super math geek who runs this website called uh, this uh, basically suite of mathematical applications called Wolfram Alpha. Uh, according to him, where we are by New Knoxville in this uh, airfield right next to it here uh, in uh, New, basically right on New Knoxville, uh, where we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator, the New Armstrong Airport. It's going to be at 3.09, 3.09 p.m., okay, in 15 seconds. Well, down to the second, pretty crazy. So let's, and that's April 8th, okay? April 8th, 2024, 3.09. So let's go back to the sim. And I'll give you your point a little uh, after this future a little later. Okay, let me just write down future a one point so that we put you on the zero one. Um, okay, three nineteen. All right, let's go back to three. We're April eighth. Oh, twenty twenty three. That's probably it. Okay, twenty twenty four. There you go. Why the heck was it at twenty twenty three? I don't understand. We're in 2024. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Let's zoom in. All right, there's the moon. You can see the moon covering the sun there. Okay. Now, very slowly. 308. 309, did it say? Well, there's something off in the sim from what I can see. It says here 309. Total eclipse, but there's something off in the sim. I don't know what's what's the deal with that. But it's it uh, the moon's a bit in front of it, but not quite. And I don't know why that is. So uh, who's gonna file the bug report for Sobo Studios? <laughs> wow. And it's in a, it's a, you know, people think that you can predict everything very accurately with mathematics. And uh, you can a lot of stuff, but not everything. You, there's, there's, there, there's things that are unpredictable. And there's a guy called Steve, uh, was it Steve? Or Kurt Godel, who did a proof, a mathematical proof that's impossible. It's basically in a very layperson's term that it's impossible to know everything for certain. He made a mathematical proof about that. Uh, Godel's and uh, not the uncertainty principle, that's something else, but um, um, hey, I'll put the link here so that if you're interested in that sort of thing, it's very interesting. Um, um, Incompleteness theorem. All right, very interesting stuff about uh, because it makes you think about you know consciousness and stuff like that. Um, Kurt Godel's achievement in modern logic is singular and monumental. Indeed, it, indeed, it is more than a monument. It is a landmark which will remain visible far in space and time. All right, so very interesting. I read this book called. Uh, if you want to get really deep into this stuff, then you read this book called, um, uh, uh, what was it, Godel Bach, Eternal Braid, um, Godel Escher Bach, An Eternal Golden Braid by Douglas Hofstadter. That's the really big, complicated book. If you want to if you want to uh, read a, a more accessible one, then I would recommend uh, I Am a Strange Loop, which is a very good one by the same author. All right. So I'm just basically riffing on all this stuff here instead of play Microsoft Flight Simulator. But, uh, you know, I just I w I wanted to see if this, maybe, maybe it's just a little off. Maybe we're off. We're making a mistake, but look at that. Maybe we have to go a little further south. Yeah, pressed the wrong. 
button. That was looking pretty good there. Where are you, son? There you are. Try again. You press five, it recenters back on the airplane. Maybe let's go a little further south and see what happens. Uh, main menu. Maybe let's go to, uh, and should I put some music on here maybe? I'll leave it like this for now. Let's go a little south. Let's go. Um, Piqua. Piqua, Ohio. Let's put ourselves there. Name of the place P I Q U A. All right, P I Q U A. Three oh nine ten. Okay, it's less, but we'll try it. Just to see what happens. Three oh nine ten. April wave twenty twenty four. Let's put clear skies. Oops. See what that does. You know, side the airplane. There's the eclipse, there's the sun. I see the moon kind of in front of it. Um, but not quite, so there's something up. With the way Microsoft Flight Simulator is modeling this. It's almost like it, it covers it all. It covers quite a quite a completely at two twenty there, and it keeps going, and then it's gone. All right, so I guess that answers the question. Microsoft Flight Simulator simulates the moon there, but it's just a little off, uh, uh, based on um, the real world measurement. So. We're not seeing the full solar eclipse. And even like 
of that much of the sun cover. That looks a little bit more than half, maybe about half. Look around there, around the landscape here. Hey, Neb, how are you, man? If you look here around the landscape, it doesn't seem that the lighting changed that much. All right. It would be a pretty cool thing if Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, modeled the Eclipse. Now, should, would DC... Is there... I don't have the map in DCS that's in Nevada, but I don't think Nevada... The solar eclipse is happening there. And I don't think there's any map in DCS for this particular eclipse. It would have to be um, North America, you know, Nova Scotia, Northeastern United States, Canada, Mexico. So there's no map in DCS for us to, or, or IL2 for us to test there. So my flight sims, I don't think War Thunder would simulate it. Who knows? You know, but even in War Thunder, there's no map for that. Uh, visit the family. Nice, man. Glad you're well. Uh, I'm okay. I, you know, busy with work still uh, up until it'll be pretty busy up until towards the end of this month, around the 18th or something. Hopefully then uh, I can get back to a regular stream. But uh, for now, we're just uh, messing. We're just... Uh, what the heck is that thing? Oh, it's one of those like flying taxi things, right? So right now I'm just sort of... Uh, um is that a caravan yeah pretty big the caravan compared to the other planes i was just messing around with the eclipse because i might actually go see it tomorrow i might depending on the weather i might go see whether um what we'll see it in real life in ohio and we've just been sort of jumping around in the video game here to try to see if it simulates it Simulates the moon going in front of the sun, but it's a little off compared to the website that I've been looking. Um, yeah, it would be great. It would be great to get more relaxed time. So that's the answer. I'm going to put a marker here and leave it there regarding eclipses. That I guess ans answers our question. Um, let's see what else. Anything else new in Microsoft Flight Simulator? I haven't played this for so long. I know I watched the new Dune movie. I quite liked it. Uh, and I guess Microsoft did a. Uh, did a uh i'm not gonna get this now because it's got a big download did a june uh, thing that dlc that you can fly around the world of june with that weird uh dragonfly looking machine um very you know dune is a it's a it's a it's a book in a in a a world about deserts you know and the first thing i ever I ever play. I ever the, the first way I experienced the world of Dune was through a <laughs> real time strategy game called Dune Two. That was really good, actually, a long time ago. I never read the book or anything, but now uh, it's on my list of books to read. It's it's a good story, but I'm not gonna do the. Let's try this. What the heck is this? Bullseye landing. Get and download. That's one gigabyte. Jeez, do you want me to land on that thing? Oh, I don't know about that right now. Um, what other stuff do you have? Yeah, I enjoyed June. Oh, oh, you're talking about the game? Is that, I, I quite enjoyed the movie too, but I, I really liked the game when I used to play real-time. That was the first real-time strategy game I ever played. Um, Bush Trips, Maverick, 40th Anniversary, this one I never really explored. We have like uh Oh, have the air mail route? This is, this is now in built into the game. That's pretty cool. Air mail route. Copy that, Andy. Have a good one, man. Have a good uh rest of your Sunday there. I will, oh, have a good evening. I will, I will add your points to the landing guesstimator. All right. Thanks so much for the lurk. I think they did add the Pelican from the Halo games. Um, do you want to check it out? Maybe let's go back to the path of the Eclipse. I heard that Selena is directly under it, pretty much. Let's try to put this uh, Mul Mul Mulyoland here. Let's just put a... Uh, Set his departure, and let's see if that bloody 
thing is there. Was it towards the bottom? I forget the name of it. Maybe I didn't even install it because I think um, these this free content you have to download and install it with a content manager. Oh no, it's there. Miss Miss Raya Armory D seventy seven TC Pelican. There you go. Um, let's put a live. Maybe Microsoft Flight Simulator. Maybe a Sobo Studios will release a hot fix tonight to make sure the Eclipse actually works in this. Let's put April Wave tomorrow. And uh, let's put Clear Skies. And uh, let's put, um, what was it? 309, I think. The Eclipse around there. All right. Never tried this thing. It's the first time I'm turning it on. Whoa. Okay, pretty cool. You're up. <laughs> I think I, I have to, there's some control that I'm not set or I have to set, uh, there's probably a button to set, uh, to change the vertical takeoff and landing thing. We have a camera thing? That's pretty cool. Light mode. Okay, now going forward. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's switch back to the uh I can see the sun there, all right. But as we've been, as we've tested already, it doesn't quite obscure the... Uh... The sun, you can see the moon in front of it, but it doesn't quite obscure it. So Microsoft Flight Simulator's uh, celestial calculations are a little off compared to you know, the stuff like in Wolf, Rem Alpha, and other stuff on the internet that we've seen. It's too bad. It's supposed to be, I think, full eclipse at 3, uh, 11, but, uh... Oh, whoa! Jeez. We'll fly around with this a bit and, and check it out. It is pretty cool that they can actually put, you know, it's a flight simulator, you can put uh, over speed well. You can put like fictional, oh dear, <laughs> even the even the Halo thing has the, uh, has the over speed uh, airframe uh, blue uh, menu of death. 
It's pretty cool that you can put any type of fictional aircraft. In the sim. I've never actually played Halo, believe it or not. Halo or Halo. Crazy looking thing. Halo. Okay, Halo. Let's see if we can find a Neo Armstrong uh, airfield. What was it? Kilo Alpha Victor X-ray, I think. I think we we'll watch out for the overspeed. Yeah, it's a co-op game, right? I like co-op games, so maybe... Uh, and wasn't a new version came, that came out recently? Wasn't there a new version for, my, for, for Windows on Steam or something? Maybe I should try that. Here you go, Armstrong, Kilo Alpha X-Ray Victor. Kilo Alpha X-Ray Victor, traffic November, Hotel Tango, X-Ray Tango, Niner Miles West, 3,300 feet, so let's go east. to land runway 8. East, uh, we're west of it, so we have to go east, so that's going to be 090. Nice, you can play the campaigns co-op, I love that. I'm over speeding again? Oh dear. Alright. Zero nine zero, I guess it's that way. Cool. Maybe I would suggest that to uh because I know we're playing Reforger now, but we have some we're having some problems with saving the game. Like so you have to basically it looks like we have to complete the campaign in one go. I mean we've tried several things, but for whatever we do it doesn't seem to save. And that's frustrating, you know, you do all this work and then you have to start from scratch next time. So maybe we'll do Halo instead. Looks like a mech, like one of those robot, Japanese robo mech things from this angle. Okay, there's the airfield. I see it to the right side right there. up all night to watch the campaign it's it's a it's a really good game right i've heard so many good things about it never played it because i never had a you know xboxes And I was, I've been thinking a lot about music lately because um, I'm actually for the first time ever beginning to record some music, setting up a system here for first single and then first EP and then first album. And I just love music and uh, I particularly appreciate video games with good music. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm excited. We'll, we'll have some music streams too. All right. I'm gonna go right above the airfield and switch to flight mode. I don't know if uh, landing guesstimator works for this, but feel free to put in a guess if you want. Exclamation point, the word guess, space, minus sign and a number. All right, here we go. Switching flight mode to... It's very fast, VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing. Don't forget the minus sign. Try to land right by the tower there. All right, gear down. Flight of Nova 2, another game that I discovered that I really liked and I had to play more of. All right, and hit with a win. Fantastic. That's quite a smash, but you know, not too far from uh, where you, you guessed. Can I switch off the engine? MFD brightness. Damn, sorry about that, Nib. I'll put an laborious one. All right, um, it's been one hour. We tried out the Eclipse. It doesn't look like a Microsoft Flight Simulator simulates uh, the total Eclipse, or there's something a bit off uh in the calculations of microsoft flight simulator maybe it's probably most likely it's my mistake but it looks like there's something off with the celestial calculations of microsoft flight simulators uh simulation of our uh, world and uh, the simulations uh that i'm finding on the internet uh, such as uh, uh precision eclipse so um that's what I wanted to do in this stream. I'm going to uh, have to get going now because, uh, you know, still uh, have stuff to do in preparation for tomorrow's trip to Ohio. But, whoa, Lolly coming in of the sub. Thank you so much, Lolly. Bonjour. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Lolly Bloom. Thank you so much for the sub. Let's see if this works. One second. Uh, properties. Uh... Okay. Um. so much for a sub a little bit of guitar here for you <laughs>
just running a bunch of delays and uh, phaser and uh, some other effects on it. It's part of the uh, work to set up uh, a recording place for first single, first EP, and then first album involved getting an audio interface and I actually managed to get it working with the, both the PC and the Mac so I can actually play the guitar with effects on the stream which is nice. now but thank you so much Loi for uh the sub uh maybe back tonight uh, a little later for uh watchdogs legion finale we have one more mission to go and uh another game crossed off the checklist we did elden ring we cheated a bit because uh but you know having good friends who who uh can give you a bunch of super power-ups and a bunch of uh smithing stones to get your weapons to us uh, uh <laughs> to a, a level that can beat all the enemies and make you win without having to do all the work yourself is uh it's not necessarily cheating it's just uh you know a different way to do it so i wanted to finish elden ring before uh have some sort of any to elden ring before the uh the uh uh dlc new dlc comes out and uh, it's just good to check those games off the list thanks so much bruce Peace out.